Kuatsi Hopa. Um, my name is Rachel Lorenzo. I'm from the Pueblo of Laguna and the Mescalero Apache tribe, and I'm Chicana. But I, I remember that first call. I, I remember like being in the bathroom, my phone ringing, and I saw it was from Arizona, and I was like, okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. I was so excited and nervous and scared. Indigenous Women Rising specializes in sexual and reproductive health care for Native people. It also runs a fund that helps Native women access abortion care. Rachel says that first caller didn't even think the help was real. Uh, she wanted to know if it was a scam <laughs> because people, you don't hear about abortion, let alone abortion funds, let alone abortion for, for Native people specifically. Many women living on reservations have never had access to safe and legal abortion care, even after Roe v. Wade in 1973 guaranteed that constitutional right. This season of KHN's American Diagnosis podcast is all about indigenous public health in the United States. For our latest episode, we spoke with lawyers, researchers, and community leaders like Rachel about the history, policies, and politics that are shaping sexual and reproductive health care for Native people. The issues go way beyond abortion. Things like testing for sexually transmitted infections, prenatal care, and contraception. This is something I am so passionate about, and my people deserve accessible health care, and I will make it happen no matter what. Hear more from Rachel and other Native voices on this season of American Diagnosis, wherever you get your podcasts.